Hey, good afternoon. Kyler Hawthorne here from Veracity Motors. Just wanted to shoot you a real quick walk around video of our 2019 Nissan Frontier SV. Uh, this one has just over 55,000 miles on it. We've got it Veracity value priced at $25,750. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you how nice of a vehicle this is and uh, some of the awesome features and everything like that. All right. All right. Here she is, the 2019 Nissan Frontier SV. Super nice little truck. As you can see, you've got the mud flaps all the way around, the nice molded ones. And then this one also has a really nice low profile tonneau cover on the back of it. Got your tow hitch down below. And then all of your trailer plugs just over here to the left. And then this is what the bed space is looking like. Got a fully carpeted bed in here with the bed rug. And these bed rugs are really nice. You can actually take them completely out of the bed if you want to, if you want to clean it out, um, or if you just don't want to use it for a particular load that you're hauling. Uh, you can vacuum it, you can hose it off, uh, you can sweep it off. Um, yeah, the bed rugs are really nice. And then this is a full rolling retrax um, tonneau cover, as you can see under here. It is fully metal uh, and it rolls up. Really nice tonneau cover. The exterior on this truck is uh, definitely a 10 out of 10. It's flawless. Oh, and one other thing too, it's also got the window vent visors. And these are WeatherTechs. They are the uh, in-channel, so they're nice and low profiled. Uh, you don't even hardly notice them on the truck. This one also has a pretty nice set of wheels on it. And the tires here, as you can see, have tons of life left in them. And that is what the exterior of the truck is looking like. So we'll go ahead and move on to the interior. Here's what the second row is looking like. Plenty of space in the back for passengers, and these rear seats are absolutely flawless. They're in excellent shape. The only thing that I've noticed back here that's kind of a, um, you know, somewhat flaw, the, uh, the floor mat has been kind of tore up a little bit. I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but um, yeah, it's just the floor mat. The carpet is perfect underneath, uh, but the floor mat is just it's missing carpet or something i'm not like i said i'm not sure how that happened but but other than that it is absolutely flawless in the back here and here's how things are looking up front again seats are absolutely flawless up here they're in great shape and this one also does have a set of the weathertech deep dish floor mats uh, keep your floors nice and clean. And here's how things are looking from the driver's seat. Got a nice display up here on the left side of the um, center cluster here. You can see this little screen here will display if you're in two wheel drive or four wheel drive and what is locked and what is unlocked. And then of course on the right side, you have your trip meter, your odometer, so you can see how many miles you've put on a certain trip, and then you can see how many miles are on the vehicle overall. As I mentioned, just over 55,000 on this one. You've got a few controls on the steering wheel here. You've got your cruise control on the right side. So to turn the system on, you just hit the on button, and then you can press this down to set a specific speed. Um, and then you can press uh, up to accelerate by one and press down to decelerate by one mile per hour. You can also cancel uh, the cruise control or you can just straight up shut it off here if you'd like. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have some of your cell phone functions and radio functions. So you can turn the volume up and down with this uh, little um, lever here. 
And then the two buttons here can answer or end your phone calls, or you can access the voice assistant. Uh, and then you have your, your modes, so you can swap through AM, FM, uh, your Bluetooth, um, or any of those different uh, sound modes. And then you can switch through your channels with the up and down arrow here. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have your multifunction switch with the lights and blinkers, as well as brights if you pull it towards you. And then on the right side of the steering wheel, the right multifunction switch will control all of your wipers. Um, same thing as the Hyundai I sent you earlier. If you go down, uh, you can uh, basically have like the intermittent, and then you can adjust this. You can kind of fine tune the speeds uh, with this little knob here. To the left of the steering wheel, you have a couple of different controls. Uh, so if you are trying to grab anything out of the bed, um, you do have a cargo lamp here. If it's dark out, can't quite see. Uh, you can just hit that, that'll turn on that cargo lamp for you. Uh, and then it's also got the hill descent control mode. Um, so it's kind of like cruise control, except it tries to keep you going as slow as, uh, as possible. Um, so if you're going down a steep decline, uh, you can set this at, you know, say five miles per hour and it will try and hold you at that five mile an hour going down that hill. And then over here you have all of your mirror controls. So you can select which mirror you want with this arrow here, and then you can use these arrows to adjust the mirrors. On the door, you have a couple of different controls here, all of your power locks and then your window lock and then all of your power window controls. And this is what your entertainment section is looking like. You've got a nice big eight inch touch screen here. Uh, it's got all the modern capabilities, the, uh, the uh, Bluetooth and cell phone connections and all of that different stuff. And just below that, you have all of your climate controls. Uh, so you can adjust the temperature here with this dial, and then you can adjust the fan speeds here with this dial, and then these are your different zone selectors. Just below that, you have your four-wheel drive control. Uh, so you've got your two-wheel drive, four high, and then four low. And then you've got your traction control button, so you can turn the traction off there. Just below that, you have a little bit of storage uh, compartments here. You've got a nice one here, as well as another one here, and then a few more over here. And then you have your uh, your shifter for your park reverse neutral and drive. And then you can also go all the way down into one, two, and three. Uh, and those are kind of like your low gears for, for crawling around in four wheel drive or whatever. Just below that, you have your cup holders. Uh, you can actually change the size of these cup holders as well with these little inserts. Uh, and then you've got your glove box. And a pretty good amount of space here in your glove box. Plenty of storage space there. And then over here on the passenger side, you have the upper and lower glove boxes. Uh, plenty of space in here for all of your stuff, registration, insurance, all of that stuff. And here's kind of what everything's looking like overall. Like I mentioned, super nice truck. The interior is really in great, great shape. All right, so like I said, just a real quick walk around video on our 2019 Nissan Frontier. Uh, if you have any questions or if there's anything else you would like to see on the truck, definitely just let me know. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this to you via text. So if you just wanna text me back there, that works perfect. All right, thank you.